We are with a podcast that covers a little bit of everything. So supernatural, superheroes, pop culture, and everything. So before we get into the superpowers and the superhero theme with Umbrella Academy, have you guys ever had a supernatural or a paranormal experience that you have not been able to explain? Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> Starting it off a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't, and I want to say that I wish I had one, mm -hmm. but then I feel like that's in, that's kind of opening Pandora's box to be spooked. <laughs> but no, I don't think I have. I don't think I have, no. I have a bunch of friends who have, so I could steal their stories and, and claim them as my own, but unfortunately I don't. Do it. Do <laughs> it. Is that what could happen? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I feel like, do you mean like supernatural or like serendipity? Because I've had like weird stuff happen where it's like, mm. you know, like a dream and then the, the next day that same thing plays out. Or like I had this weird uh. moment where I, when I was younger, I was um, in like a car crash with my parents, but like literally five seconds before our car crashed, I saw my brother didn't have his seatbelt on. And I was like... Oh, and I just like put it on whilst he was asleep, and then we literally crashed. Whoa! So and I'm like, is that supernatural or is that I'm an angel? <laughs> <laughs> you choose. What is your favorite horror movie? Oh God! Um, I have to be honest. I got <clears throat> bamboozled at a sleepover when I was 11 bamboozled. into bamboozled, mm. truly bamboozled into watching The Exorcist with a bunch of other girls at this sleepover party. Everybody else fell asleep except for me and I was the only one awake that could not sleep because it was The Exorcist mm. and I was haunted for years. Mm. And so I've kind of stayed away from horror. Like I still haven't recovered. It's still a little traumatic. <laughs> I've still never, I haven't seen it since. Mm. Um, so I, I'm more of like a psychological thriller, murder mystery, whodunit. Agatha Christie type girly. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I guess if we're saying horror, I guess probably The Exorcist because it, it did its job. It, I'm absolutely. still mortified. <laughs> did you hear about the things that happened in like the movie theaters yeah. when they yeah. would show it? It's pretty scary. It's scary. It's really scary. I when she comes crawling down, running down the, the stairs back upside down, absolutely not. Oh my God. Absolutely it's Nightmares not. now mm -hmm. tonight. That's, that's, what, that's what nightmares are made of. <sighs> Um, I <clears throat> saw Hereditary. And <gasps> don't. I know. I'm like remembering. Wait, I it. did see that. It's so scary. That was the another bit when she's like crawling over yes. the ceiling. Oh my god, it's so scary. And the sister, the sister. Bye. Yeah. Bye. No, that's get actually to the bin. Now. That was another. I get bamboozled into horror films. That was another bamboozled. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's just watch this really good movie. I've heard great things about it. Yeah. Horrifying. Oh, but recently, talk to me. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it was so good. Mm -hmm. So good. No, I don't need to see it. <laughs> I can't. Watch I a, almost said I need to I see it. I can't watch a horror movie by myself. Though. No, why would you do that? Yeah, but some people love that. I think that's why people love horror is like the spook yeah. and that it makes you feel alive. Like I get it, but it's also then I don't sleep for six six years. So. 